How's it going guys? Mutemoya back again with another video. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I save my photos uh, so that I can post them on Instagram or how I save my Instagram photos in Photoshop. So guys, no further ado, uh, let's get in Photoshop. And you can see we have this amazing image right here, which I was actually in the process of retouching. I didn't do color grading or I just had done a frequency separation and I was just about to do a dodge and burn, but I thought of I need to do this video because I've been getting this question for a very long time. So what I normally do, I press Control, Shift, Alt, and S, and this is called Save for Web. And what it does now, it opens this dialog box right here, and we have to wait for it to load so that we can see our image uh, right here. This might take some time depending on your computer RAM or on the size of your image. But because my image is normally a 16-bit image, and now you can see when it opens, zoom out you can see your image has this uh, like pixelation in it because uh, it's full quality so what you do is just zoom it in so that you can lose all the grains and the, the next thing I'm going to do you just come right here and select maximum uh, come right here and select JPEG right and I think there's no preset we're adding so just set unnamed and Instead of selecting uh, optimized or a bent color profile, just press a uh, progressive right here. Make sure the quality is at 100 and make sure the blur is at zero, matte, just select matte. And this is the most important part because you see, we shoot our normal, I shoot my photos at RGB. I, pre I prefer retouching my images at RGB, Adobe RGB, but when saving them for Instagram, I always convert them to srgb so that the colors can maintain uh, perfectly and the colors can look amazing so i just make sure you activate convert to srgb and then you come here preview monitor uh, make sure preview select monitor color and metadata just any copyright if you want to put your logo all that you can put it there and now come down here um, I really don't like resizing my images so i prefer leaving this at this point right and now uh, I set percentage to at zero and now for the quality instead of setting by cubic or nearest neighbor what I do is I set by cubic sharper right and then I just go ahead proceed to you can see my image is around 13 uh, megabytes so what I'm going to do I just control I just just press save or just enter in your keyboard and you can see it opens in the folder where uh, you are saving your image and you can see these are the photos where I'm saving the photos so just go ahead and save name the image the way you want it and just go ahead and save it and this means you save your image to the full quality and this doesn't make your image doesn't pixelate your image it just leaves your image exactly the way it was while you're working on it and you have to perfect the colors you have to perfect everything and you also have to perfect the quality on shooting so guys that's all. That's how I normally save my images. And maybe, for example, if uh, you don't understand the shortcut, that's Control, Shift, Alt, and S. What you need to do is just come right here, uh, File, Export, or just select Export, and then Save for Web Legacy. You see? Uh, come to File, Export, Save for Web Legacy. But I've been using the shortcut for a very long time. And one thing I also have done is, you can see on my tablet, uh, you can see on my tablet, so what I've done, I've activated this uh, button right here to be my uh, save button. So I just press it and it opens my uh, saving, uh, what is dialog box. So guys, that's all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm trying to create content. I'm back. I took a two week break, but now I'm back and I'm trying to uh, be as consistent as possible. Hope you learned something from today's video. If you learned something, make sure you subscribe to this channel and share this video to uh, your friends, your family, so that YouTube also like this video so that YouTube can recommend it to as many people as possible. And see you in the next video. I'm out.